Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from the Zawa server and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of decorating, a little decor, a little fun stuff around the zoo. Kind of scattered all over the place actually because there's been, uh, I've been doing a lot of exhibits lately and I haven't been doing a lot of decorating as far as making things look, you know, good. It's just been the inside of, this, uh, of, the, uh, of the pens have been looking good, you know, but the inside of the exhibits, they've been looking pretty good, but everything else outside of it has been kind of looking a little rusty. So gonna be doing that today but first before I do any of that we got to go get the anvil because you guys killed it once again in the uh, in the comments section for naming the cassowaries okay so we got to do that for sure let's go grab a couple of these things now I know they're both female but uh, I think I'm gonna settle on on boy names <laughs> because of some of the suggestions you guys have submitted well, uh, one of these uh, names actually I came up with completely on my own well I thought of a movie and I, I, I kind of can't borrowed it from there so I didn't really come up with it on my own but I think the one that we're gonna name that you guys came up with here and this comes from okay I'm gonna butcher this name I apologize big time in advance but uh, uh, Mookshane MD uh, and it was also somewhat suggested by 12x lemon and that is blue now the reason why is because uh, if you guys ever watched Jurassic World <laughs> This is sort of what I, the reason why I gave it anyway. If you watch Jurassic World, the raptor in there is named Blue. And uh, and I think that'd be great because these things, these cassowaries are basically modern day raptors. They kick with their claws and their feet and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. Uh, it's going to be, it's kind of nuts. Now, the other one is the one I'm going to actually name because I was thinking about this over uh, over the last week or so. Trying to think of a really good name for this and, and reading all the suggestions and stuff. And all of a sudden it clicked. Have any of you seen the movie Up? All right, if you've seen the, the, it's a Pixar movie. If you've seen the movie Up, you know that there's a giant bird creature in the jungle that when they first meet it, the little Boy Scout kid names it Kevin. <laughs> now, Kevin, as it turns out later, ends up being a mama. She ends up being a female, but they keep calling her Kevin anyway. So I think Kevin would be a perfect name for a giant bird, um, considering that that's basically the exact same thing from Up. Now let's go add these to the uh, to the exhibit over here. But I would like to thank each and every one of you who name who give a name suggestion. I comb through all of them. I see all of them. I see all the name suggestions. So thank you for that. There was a, a couple of really good honorable mentions. Uh, Luke's Animal World. He came up with some good ones. I especially like Bruce Lee, even though that's a guy's name, and he said it was for the uh, male cassowary. But I especially like it because uh, of the whole kicking thing, also. Um, that was really good. I really liked that one too. There, there was a bunch of really good names. So thank you all for everybody who suggested. Oh, there's an Endermite I left over here. He's gonna get the X. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, they're all really good suggestions. Thank you all for everyone who submitted them. All right, now on to the episode. We gotta get these guys in here. But see right here, I haven't done anything else to this since the last episode, and I really need to. Okay, this place is looking a little worse for the wear. I mean, the, the pads aren't connected. You got the the tortoise over there just chilling by itself, right? It's still over there, right? Okay, yeah, it's still over there. Uh, Shelly, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's Shelly. Um, but there's no pathway leading connecting or actually connecting to the tortoise. Uh, the bird sign is something I've wanted to put up for a long, long time, and where we just came from, where the uh, axolotls are, or axolotls, as everyone's been calling them, those things, uh, uh, the hill that they're hidden in, uh, needs, needs some love and attention. So I got some things to do this episode, and check out the koalas, people. Still in the pen! <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> looks like the exhibit glass is working. It looks a little, yeah, but I mean, it's... They're still in there, so that's all I can say is, I mean, good, good, good. Look at them, look at the cute little red panda! Yes, look at that. They, they just push up against the box. Oh, he's laying down. That's so adorable. All right, let's go ahead and uh, and get this uh, put in here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to probably yeet myself out of here with an ender pearl to escape these uh, these raptors. Um, I suppose I don't think they're very dangerous, but I'm going to get that on the hotbar just in case. And we're going to do this now. I believe they're both females, so it doesn't really matter what we're trying to name Kevin and Blue. Um, but I think we're just going to slap these down. I think like that. You're going to be Blue. These things do actually sound like that. I looked up a video. Actually, uh, Magnum, if you're watching, thank you for sending me that video covering them. These things are it's really dangerous. <laughs> Let's get that out there and escape while we still have our life. Uh, yeah, these things are really, really dangerous birds. Okay, so they call them the world's most dangerous birds, and they are not joking. So if you have these things anywhere near you in the wild, uh, I would highly recommend staying away from them. But they should make a nice little exhibit right here. And they can't fly, so that's good too. I don't know if they can really jump out of there. But we'll see. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I had something escape, <laughs> escape the zoo, let's be real here. 
So, all right, in today's episode, like I said, I want to do some of the pathing, and I want to get some of the decorations and some of the bushes and stuff to fill in this place over here. I don't think I'm going to be putting any more exhibits over here, because I think this is already pretty well filled up. Uh, last episode, I talked about maybe building a dock right here, kind of like as the pathway goes that way. I kind of like that idea. I'm going to stick with it. In fact, you know what? Why not we just start right there? Let's uh, grab some of uh, this stuff. And um, do I have any regular oak wood by any chance? Bat backpack, don't fail me now. Mm, I do. Look at that bat backpack for the win. All right, so I'm thinking we put like the supports. Eh, this is going to be kind of tricky. i got to figure out where I want to put this. It's going to hug this probably pretty close. I might even raise it up so that it's actually level with this so you can see the cassowaries from this side. Uh, so it's, mm, yeah, it's not a bad idea to do that. It drops down so steep, like over there, like two blocks, it would have to drop down. If it's this elevation, I'd go one, two down just to get to where the tortoise is. Uh, unless I connect it right here. Then it wouldn't have to, because then it would just drop down right here. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So let's get the supports put in here. All right, with those supports in, now I actually need to get some planks, and I thought I had these things stashed someplace. There's jungle planks, and eh, that's not really what I want to use, though. I kind of want to make the same pathways like what I made the suspension bridge over there. So we're talking oak planks. I have them somewhere. Where are they? Bat All right, squid backpack? Oh, well, there's three. Oh, no, I have some I have some more. <laughs> I have a stack right there. There we go. Okay, I have, I have plenty. All right, should actually do just fine. Let's go ahead and start sprinkling these in here so we can get this elevation brought up, and then we'll worry about adding, actually, like, defense posts and whatnot so that they kind of make sense. Uh, like it's a, a guardrail back here so that people don't fall in the lake. Nothing like taking a snooze next to some, uh, some murder birds. All right, I got a little carried away, and that's okay, because in this episode, I got quite a bit I want to do, but I think I got the entire thing done. All right, check it out. I got, <laughs> I put in everything you would need to, uh, to have to decorate this place up kind of quickly. Nothing too fancy. It's really just kind of a small walkway with uh, some supports underneath. A little, uh, I'm trying to keep it still looking relatively rustic, because remember, this is Wildwood after all, so I kind of need this to be a little bit almost broken down. Um, and this way you can get up here and you can see these uh, these evil birds that are going to try to, you know, lunge at you and gnash you with, your, with their claws. <laughs> get a good look, you and the whole kids. I should probably put a warning sign up on these too. Alright, so now we got to go ahead and connect this path, all of this up in right here. Now I have this going this way, which I don't think this needs to actually connect right here. I think this can be just like a walkway to this direction, this side, that you can just look at like the, the red pandas back there. Uh, and so the actual pathway itself, I think, will veer over here. And maybe I'll put some bushes or something in right here, actually. This is where the, the bird sign is going to have to go, too, which I need to I need to go ahead and make that, too. So let's, uh, let's open up the squid backpack again, grab some of these cobble uh, slabs here, and uh, because this is where the elevation change is going to occur. Now we're going to have to bring this forward just a little bit. I'm going to do something like that, maybe? Yeah, something like that. And then right here, that, that's probably all, all I'm going to need to do for this part. Um, now, I'm gonna have to dig this out, if I had the shovel, that would help. Dig this out here. And then I can, oops, I did not mean to remove the gravel. Um, then I can go ahead and just wrap this uh, this walkway around completely. Actually, I can probably remove all this grass here, because that way people can see both exhibits on either side of the path. Nice wide ones so that people can actually fit through here. All right, I'm gonna clear this out and then I'm gonna fill it in with the good old paths that you all know and love, making this whole area complete. Ready? 
One, two, three. All right, just like that, the pathway over here is complete. Look at that, making some good progress today. This has been something that's been bugging me for quite a while. I know it's not anywhere near as, as interesting, I guess, as uh, adding a new exhibit, but I mean, I'm actually running out of space. If you guys have checked the map recently, uh, there's not a lot of space for exhibits left anymore. I mean, I have this huge chunk of land up here. That's about it right now, and that's 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 it. That's the end of the zoo right there. You can guys see it. I also have the aquarium. I haven't forgot about the aquarium. I'm going to do the aquarium in an uh, upcoming episode here. It's, it's on the agenda. Uh, but all right, so now I got to connect this path over here, which shouldn't be too hard. That's actually just a little stretch. And then this curves around this way as well, to right here. Now, this is a big open area, all right? This is a huge area to uh, try to cover with just one big dirt path. So I'm going to definitely be splitting this up. And I think I'm going to do roughly, like, I just kind of quickly carve out what I'm going for here. So that's going to connect right there. And then I think I'm going to have this come around and connect up with it right here. And then this place here, I'll add some foliage, maybe a couple of trees, kind of... Uh, no, 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 never mind. I'm not going to add some trees. I'll probably add something similar to this right here, where I add the bushes and the fences, because I don't want... Like, back here, when you're coming from the 200 subscriber park, you can see the aviaries, and I think that looks awesome. And I don't really want to block it. There's this tree right here, which is fine. It's part of the exhibit, you know. But I don't want to block that view, so I'm going to keep that for sure. We're going to keep Maddie's tent as a his, uh, historical figure, or historical marker right here. In fact, we're going to build a little pathway leading to it. <laughs> Leading to it right here. Maybe even add in a little little pizzazz to make it a little bit more permanent, you know? Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Maddie's pa Maddie's tent is gonna stay in the in the, the zoo forever. So alright, I need to and then this carves the, uh and goes right along here and connects up to this side right here, and then right here also connects. And that should connect all the pathways with what I have so far, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, no, there's this one right here. I haven't finished that one, too. There's a lot of little things I'm taking care of in this episode today because that and then, like I said, right here on top of where the axolotls are, uh, I, I got to fix all that, too. Because that's, uh, I mean, it's just so blank. It's barren. You look at everything else. It has nice details and stuff like that, and then this is just nothing right there, and I, it's been nothing for quite a while. Sorry, right, so this area is where I'm going to be working next, filling in the path, and then getting to work on some bushes right here. All right, I think that's it for those bushes and this path. I think this is all I need to do. Now, I do need to do some fine detailing, like adding some taller grass and some fences in here. But for right now, I think I'm just going to leave it at that, just because I have some other detailing i got to do in this whole area. And I'm going to come back through when uh, at the end of this episode and just kind of go through all of it with the detailing. We're going to make a bunch of benches. We're going to make a bunch of light posts and a whole bunch of little stones to fit in here, too. So... Uh, I think what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> now that all that's done, is I, I want to make the bird sign. Like, I really do want to make the bird sign. Let's go ahead and stash whatever leaf blocks I have left in here. And then, uh, where am I storing this stuff? It's not in that one. It's this in, in this one right here. Do I have any room in here? Not much. There's not much room in there. I'm running out. I'm going to stash some of these leaf blocks with the, with, or uh, some of these grass blocks with the leaves from here on out uh, until I... Remember to empty my inventory. Um, all right, so I need to put a um, I need to put a bird sign right here. Now I'm trying to decide: do I want one going across the front, like an archway type thing with the banners hanging down saying "birds"? I mean, it would look kind of cool. It would. Mm, it might actually interfere with the uh, with the view, though. Let me get back over here and take a peek and see exactly what I'm. Oh, oop, oop, oop. Miss uh, parkour there, parkour master. Uh, let me get back over here and actually look down this way here and see how this all looks. I mean, eh, as long as I keep it somewhat low to the ground, I think it should work. I'm probably going to use some of this to make it look like a palisade wall also to kind of fit in with the rest of the zoo. And then I'm going to have to put, like, banners, which... Mmm, i got to actually make the banners. The letters, I, I have to go... I'm going to have to look that up. I'm always terrible at, at that. Um, I'm thinking probably right about here, maybe? Maybe right about here? Yeah, I'm trying to decide exactly where I want this. 
Um, it could actually be back a little bit farther too. Like right here to right. It doesn't actually have to be straight across, actually. Excuse me, flower. Right there. Probably be good. There you go, flower. Uh, that should probably be fine there. So let's just bring those up completely. Uh, probably is. Uh, yeah, I want to keep it about the same height as that tree in the cassowary exhibit. Two, three, four, huh? Yep, just like that. And then bring it across. I'm going to have to bring this in one like that. And then. Let's chop this down here. Is Was it just one in? I think it was just one in. Let me see if I can see it from here. Yeah, it was just one in. I didn't have to chop nothing. Uh, pink like that. And then remove that. All right. And then um, I'm trying to decide what I can actually put on top of this thing. Maybe, because I uh, actually hear it. Yeah, this might work. This might, ooh, I need one more of those. Bring back the backpack pack. Maybe this right here. All right, that should work just fine. Let's take a look at this. Ow, break my legs. Uh, actually, you know what? Back, back, back. Come back. <laughs> my my hero, bad back, back. Let's do that and that as well. Uh, I also didn't think about, does this have enough room to spell birds on it? <laughs> B-I-R-D-S. It's, oh, dang it. I got to move this thing. Hold on. Something's not right here because I got to, let's, uh, let's move this one right here. It might be easier just to do this. Um, because if I do this, the letters will be off. Um, there'll be one too many on one side, and it'll look really weird. So let's, uh, yeah, like that. And then remove this, replace with that. And then this has to go over one whole block. Like so. This can be removed here, and place it right back there, and voila. All right, now this actually can be popped off right back here too. We don't, we don't need that here. All right, so now I got to go try to make the, the signs themselves because then it'll be B I R D S right there in the center. All right, then we, let me go make the signs real, or the, the banners real fast. Alright, I got the banners made. Let's go ahead and start placing these things right away. Hey, jump, heat, place, there we go. B, I, R, D, S. Bam. Let's go take a step back and see how this looks. Hey, cassowaries, how's it going? Uh, birds. There it is. Alright, I'm thinking that looks just fine. I do want to actually make it look a little bit more palisade-like, so I do want to continue this over just, just a bit. Not too heavy, actually. Uh, something, let's actually have it come back like that. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's keep it dropping down like the slant down. I think that'll look fine. All right, and over here we should probably do the same. That's a uh, bink, bink, bink. Something like that. All right, how does that look? Yeah, birds! <laughs> I think that looks fine. Uh, it is kind of missing a little something, though. Let's, uh, let's get the squid backpack out here. I only have one of those. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. I do have some oak planks, though, and a couple of sticks. So what can I do with this? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and make a couple more of these things. And then I'm going to take this and just kind of sprinkle this in right on the sides like so. I think that might be some of the details missing. Yeah, all right. I think I like that a lot better. I think that's better. Um, all right, so now that we finished that... Uh, there's still a lot of detailing to do in this area as well as like bushes and whatnot filling in here So let's go ahead and grab some of those out of the green backpack. Is it in? No. Nope. Actually it is I Just misclick there. Let's go ahead and grab a few stacks of this uh, Let's oh man. I'm making a mess Let's go ahead and grab a few stacks of this here and see what what damage we can do out front here um, Sprinkle in a couple of these things Something like this that way we can get some bushes going right in front here um I do want to kind of mix up the, the uh, block palette here so that there's a couple of different kind of bushes, like the, or uh, leaf blocks here. Like, uh, but basically using oak and spruce wood, obviously, for most of the zoo here, and that's fine. I think that, that looks good. So I'm going to continue it for right here in front of the birds area. Um, and then maybe even a little bit right here. Not too heavy, actually. Hold on, I want to, I want to back this off just a little bit because I don't want to uh, overpower this area too much. I just want to basically cut it off from the people walking this way. So, 
maybe something like I do want to incorporate it down here in the water as well. Is that enough? Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit more. Uh, let's bring this down like so. All right, how's this look? Does that look better? Yeah, okay, that looks a lot better. All right, we're gonna go with that. And then right here, this needs to have some space filled in as well because this is, this is just a large open area. And this is also where this path right here, when you're looking at the uh, red foxes, or red uh, red pandas, which there's one there, where's the other one? One there, okay, <laughs> just wanna make sure they're both still in there. I wanna have this kind of cut off from the other area, so we're gonna put another big uh, bush area in this area right here. And that should do just nicely for kind of blocking off the rest of the, uh, the aviary area over here. <clears throat> You know, I kind of like this little inlet right here. Like, I was going to cover this whole thing with bushes here, but I kind of like this right here. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to do, like, a little, like, path leading out to this so that you can actually get, walk in here and see the, the birds from here. I think this would look like an interesting little design here. Let's uh, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's make that official. Uh, just kind of brainstorm in there as, as I was doing this. And I kind of like the way it looks. Now, let's get the bat pack pack. Where'd that go? Actually, let's get the squid backpack, toss that one fence there, and some of this extra stuff so I can make myself some wiggle room. I also have some lapis in my inventory, which I probably shouldn't. Um, oh, bat backpack. Let's get this open here, and let's get um, let's get some pathing blocks out here. I don't really need to go too heavy on this, so I might actually just stick to just the coarse dirt. and Because this is supposed to be kind of like a, a light path leading to right here. Oops, wrong button. Might throw in some gravel in this as well, just to kind of add one more block variant to it. Yep, all right, let's do that. And then bad pack pack for the wind and gravel. And we're going to finish this off by adding a few gravel blocks in here. And then that should allow people to walk back here and actually see the uh, see the birds from here, like this one right here, who's up against the glass. All right, so, oh, this actually does not look good at all. Let's go ahead and do that. That should look, that's better. All right, now I do have a whole lot of bone meal in my inventory because I do want to actually spice this up a bit. Um, actually, let's, uh, before I get too crazy with the spices, let's uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves an entire stack of buttons. I'm probably gonna blow through a lot of that here. We're gonna add a little bit of detailing in here. Uh, and then we're gonna just sprinkle these in kind of periodically throughout this area, just to kind of add a little extra detailing as far as like pebbles and whatnot kind of being on the ground. And maybe throw one back here. Right there is good. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> right there. Maybe one hidden right there as well. Actually, I might remove that one because I'm probably going to be putting a fence right there. Um, we'll just leave that the way it is. All right, so now... Um, sure, right there too. Now that we got that, let's go ahead and add some foliage to this place. Uh, I'm going to do that because this bench can't have to be able to walk up on. Add a little foliage behind this place. Maybe a couple of tall ones too. Just like that sticking up. Good, good. Let's uh, break this, trim this back just a bit. I don't want it going too crazy. That should be fine right there. Uh, same thing for right here. Let's just add like one right there. Should be fine. A little bit of detailing right there as well. This is after all supposed to be wildwood, so it is supposed to be like you're walking through a lot of the forest as you're going through these exhibits and whatnot. It's supposed to be a little overgrown uh, in places, uh, allowing it to seem like it's more in the wilderness. So, Actually, you know what? Let's uh, add a tall one in here every once in a while, too. And then, bam, just like that. Let's knock this back here. This is perfect. Just like that. Good, good. Awesome. All right. What do you guys think? Is this looking better? I think this is looking a lot better. This is looking more like a zoo now rather than just some exhibits that don't have any other details. So let's go ahead and slap a piece of grass right there and right there. Hmm. All right. So right here also needs a little bit of love and attention. This one, I could put bushes in, actually, but I think I'm just going to leave it just uh, some tall grass like that. I think that should be fine. Let's go ahead and thin this out a little bit right there. Good, good. All right, now I do need to make some more fence posts. I'm going to use these for sure. Oh, I also meant to place these things over here. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's drop one there. Uh, those cassowary sounds are going nuts. It's kind of crazy. They sound like little uh, poppers going off. All right, let's sprinkle in a couple of stones here, there. I'm, I'm basically running all over the place as I do this because my brain's firing at a million miles an hour trying to, <laughs> trying to get this all to make sense. Nah, I don't need that extra flower there. Let's go ahead and start adding in some of the fence posts in here, too, like it's holding it back. Um, you guys like seeds? There you go. Oh, they didn't even go over the fence. Um, you guys like flowers? Hey, there you go. Um, let's grab uh, from the squid backpack. I'm going to need some fences. 
I only got two of them here, so I'm gonna. I need to go get more uh, uh, oak wood, actually, which I think I have. I just have to actually go get it. Um, but let's get in here and place some of these fences here, like we're holding this place back. Uh, let's grab that one. Not bad backpack, squid backpack. Let's grab that one uh, spruce fence that I have. <laughs> let's get this in here too. Uh, let's go ahead and slap that bad boy right there. And that one right there. And then maybe we'll connect. No, they don't connect at all. We'll just do that right there. And this will look like it's kind of holding this back, actually. I think that looks fine. Looks fine. All right, now I should have somewhere in one of these. Is it bad backpack or is it squid? There's some right there. I think it's squid. I think I put them in there too. Nope, did not, sure didn't. Where did I put the, oh man, now I lost them. I had them someplace, I had more cobble slabs. Maybe I didn't, maybe I only had eight. Let's go ahead and start detailing this up just a wee bit too, uh, because this will then match these over here, uh, where they have a little bit of a cobble action kind of stacked on them a little bit. Let's get rid of that a little too much uh, flower action going on right there. Gonna try to mix it up just a bit. Let's hop over here, something right like that. Mm-hmm, good, good. And maybe one right here. Yeah, all right, that's good. I think that's done. I think that's... Mm, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to all have cobble slabs on it. Uh, just a little extra detailing. That's really all it is. I mean, there really isn't much logic to it. You wouldn't expect stones to be on there. I try to think of it like the the, the bushes are pushing up the ground, and that's what's on top of it, since, since we don't have half slabs of dirt. Um, that's That's my logic behind it. All right, I think the birds area is completely done. Like, done, done. Done, 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 done. Done, 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 done. Uh, all right, let's move on over to this area here. And now what am I gonna do with this? I don't actually know. I mean, I could add more bushes and stuff so you're kinda walking through here. I mean, that would make sense, but I don't really necessarily need to. I could actually just do some grass. In fact, let's do that. Let's actually do grass, one, because it's easier, and two, uh, because I need to mix it up a little bit, otherwise it's gonna look a little too monotonous like everything's the same uh, so I want to add some areas where it is just the grass and like the fields that you're going through um, something like this all right let's go ahead and uh, sprinkle in I guess I could leave the flowers sprinkle in oh I gotta get this area over here too uh, yeah oh I even got a little bit of leave action there how fun is that all right I'm thinking that should be good just like that I also was going to go through and put a bunch of benches in here, but, I mean, if I can make this look overgrown, I already have a couple benches scattered, like there's one right here, and there's one right there, and there's one down there by the, the birds, and there's one right here. Uh, so, I, I guess I'm good on benches. Look at that, they're just waiting, they're, look at, they're, they're, trying, to, they're trying to get out. I know, it. They're, they're trying to hunt me, I just, they, that's what, what their clicking noise is, is they're, they're communicating their attack. Those things are creepy, not gonna lie. <laughs> After looking into them, they're a little bit more creepier than I, uh, than I thought they were originally. <laughs> But, uh, but they're adorable anyway, they're birds. So let's go ahead and sprinkle in some of this stuff in here and get this going right here. I'm gonna do the same thing in this area where I'm gonna make a, a little bit of tall grass. Just like that. All right, so I think that this is starting to look pretty good. This is starting to look actually like a zoo now. As I'm, I'm liking this, all right. So I think I'm basically done back here. I think I'm basically done back here. I don't really know if I want to do any more detailing on this. I got my bird sign in. I like the bird sign. I think it turned out pretty good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does it look good? Does it look kind of meh? It's like, why did you build it on a slight angle? It's because that's what I do. <laughs> it's, it's what I do, people. I never take the easy route, usually. Except for over there where that tall grass is. I took the easy route there. Um, all right. So now let's let's move on over to where the ashalotes are. Uh, the axolotls. The, the tree frogs. The... What else did I put in there? Uh, the Xenopus frogs. Let's move over there because there is that it's embedded in a hill that doesn't have anything on top of it, and it looks very barren and very boring. So I need to fix that. Oh, and I also do remember now, as I'm running away from it, that I didn't do this path at all. We'll have to catch that in another episode. Because <laughs> um, I do want to get this this done right here. Now the question is: Is do I use the natural trees that are here, or do I do custom? Now custom takes a while. That's takes a long while, and I do have to work in the morning, and it's late here, but, hmm, let me, uh, let me, let me organize my inventory, and then I'll get back to you on that. All right, survey says make them custom. Let's do, <laughs> let's do this. Let's get on up here, actually, because, like, look at this. Look at this. This is terrible up here. This is not very good at all. 
I noticed it also when I was flying over with a with an elytra. It does not look good. This, this all looks good. This looks fine. And then this hill looks bad. So let's do let's do a couple of custom trees here. I'm thinking also like the jungle type trees that I've been putting right there. Since a lot of these exhibits right here are more tropical and stuff like that, I think that might make sense. Like, well, this one isn't. This one's more like a bog, but I actually rather like that one. I think that one's actually a pretty good exhibit. <laughs> the rest of them aren't bad by any means, but I kind of like the fact that I had to build an entire underwater exhibit right here. I mean, I'll, oh, well, <clears throat> no, I'll get to that over there too, but uh, all right, let's get over <laughs> to, uh, let's get up here and actually start adding some jungle-like trees similar to what's in the jungle, or the, uh, the those things, tiger pen, and what we built for the cassowaries there. I'm gonna have them kind of draping down over the path, I think would look pretty good. So I don't need them very tall. I almost need them like short jungle trees uh, and I'm gonna put in at least two. I think at least two. So let's get to work on placing one right here So they actually can have like roots that kind of Snake down this I think would look pretty nifty Oh, Let me jump up here and actually not fall over. I think it would look kind of cool if the if the jungle uh, Like uh, the roots of this thing just kind of like reach down the side of the mountain or not mountain the hill here I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm trying to try and build it and it's not working. All right, let's 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 get up here and actually start adding the trunk, which will be right about here is where it starts. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, but then I'm going to hop down here and knock this out right there to make it look a little bit more interesting. All right, and then we're going to start bringing it out a little... Oh, <laughs> that was on accident. Um, start bringing it out a little bit. And in fact, you know what? Let's do this too. Like that. All right, so then this has to be built up and back too, because it's gonna start is where it's gonna start leaning. So it's gonna need to look like it's really anchored down by its roots. Uh, and for that, we're going to not do that. For that, we're gonna probably leave it like that actually. All right, so let's go ahead and add this part here. Mm. I just saw the snake tail poke out of the <laughs> out of the wall there. That thing still scares the crap out of me periodically. I think it's just trauma from having to deal with so many anacondas when I moved into this biome. But that was like oh, over a year ago. You guys, can you guys imagine this? This whole series has been going on for over a year. I only had one kid when I started this, <laughs> and now I have two. It's been quite a zoo build. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get to work on kind of customizing this tree a little bit here, and then I'll be right back and show you guys hopefully the the end results. So here's a little uh, building montage for you to go along with all the other building montages that have been in this episode. This has been a heavy montage episode because there's been so many little little things I had to take care of. All right, so the trees are done. I actually kind of like them. I think they'll they'll work out pretty good. Now, I do want to get up there still and add more to this. I don't want it to just be this, you know. I want I got some other things I got to do up here. Like this still this, this this looks better. This looks leaps and bounds better than just grass up here. But I do want to add. Let's get the let's get this uh this back out. Actually, sure. Let's go ahead and just sprinkle in a couple of these periodically throughout this on top as well. Um, after all, there would be pebbles and stuff up here. Um, Let's go uh, somewhere like down here too. Sure, why not? Let's sprinkle in a few of them here, there. Um, and that should be good right there. All right, now let's go ahead and put the, these uh, leaves back. And well I, well, I can still grab the oak leaves. Let's grab the oak leaves. And ah, no, no, no. let's grab all the leaves here. Let's grab every kind of leaf I got. Oh, look at that! It's getting nighttime. Let's eat dinner, and then let's get up there after taking a little bit of a nap and add in some bushes. All right, one nap complete. Let's head up here. We're gonna add in a few bushes in between these trees. And that way it should look like it's kind of overgrown like crazy. Let's go ahead and sprinkle these things in kind of sporadically right now. And then we're gonna accent them nicely with a couple of oak leaves. And I'm just worrying about the front of this for right now. But I'll switch up, you know, let's, I don't like that. I'll switch it up here in a little bit um, and worry about the back. But for right now, I just wanna worry about the front. Let's actually hop down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding in these jungle leaves kind of draping down as well. So it looks like these bushes are actually overhanging this and kind of 
coming down in front even, like a little bit like that. Now, not too much so that you can't actually see what's going on, but something kind of along the lines of this, like the, like the bushes or the shrubs are just taking over this place. Uh, ugh. Ugh, get up there, there we go. Mm, let's, back, let's back that off, at least a block. Something like that. Okay, so already this is looking better than just dirt. I'm thinking that this is probably going to look pretty good when it's all said and done. Let's go ahead and drape that one down a little bit further. And right here, I, I do want to get... I need to get up there. Hold on. Yeah. I do want to actually add in a couple of leaves, like right here, like it's actually hanging down because of a, a outcropping of like uh, vines or growth right there. Now, I could actually put vines in here. But I think that this actually looks better when you do it block for block. And plus the vines like to grow and then you gotta play string to stop them. And it's a big, it's a big thing. It's a big thing that I don't want to deal with. <laughs> um, and then I probably could go a little ham on this side too. Come to think of it. Let's do something like that. And then... Uh, and... Uh, Alright. That should be good for where I want it to drape down kind of. I like that how it kind of pulls back in around the overhang, actually. I think that looks pretty good. Mm, getting a little too much. Let's go ahead and just leave that open like that. I think I'll... Eh, eh, something's not right there. Let's go ahead and... Eh, eh, got it. Whoa, that's <laughs> none of that was what I wanted to do. Actually, I placed a block in every spot except for the one I was trying to... It was right there. Ah, it's kind of getting a little too in the way of everything else in there. I think that's fine. That should be fine, actually, right there. I can have it drip down a little bit farther when it's in between the exhibits, like right here. Um, and then that should be fine. Now, I just have to do that on this side, too, and then finish off the top of the hill, and that should be it. All right, I think that's all I want to do now to the front of this. Now, what do you guys think? Let's take a big step back and look at this. I know it's been a while since I worked over here, but doesn't that look leaps and bounds better than what I had before? How does it look on the mini-map, too? Does this look a little less like a... Empty field or a barren field now? Yeah, a little bit. It's getting there. There's still a little bit of work to do on top, but uh, at least from down here on the ground level, this is actually looking pretty swag. So let's get up here and add in a bunch of leaves and stuff across the top. Do I have any more jungle leaves? Because those are going to be kind of important in this area. I do, but I'm running out. I also have some of these right here. Let's try to limit it to a stack up here if I can. All right, let's just go ahead and sprinkle in a few leaves on this area. Nothing too fancy for the spruce. I don't want to overdo it with the spruce. That should be good. Let's go over here. Something like that. Yeah, it's good. All right, now let's go switch it over to the oak leaves. Now this is going to make up. Oops, this is going to make up a big bulk of the leaves up here actually, because the, uh, the jungle leaves I just kind of want to accent the area. I don't want it to be like the main focus point of this. Uh, and this doesn't have to be too heavy with bushes either. This is kind of almost like the roof of the the um, of the reptile center there. There wasn't a whole lot of stuff on there either. Um, but there was just enough to make it interesting. It looked more like moss kind of growing on it, you know? All right, so let's let's raise this up a little bit in some spots. Something like this. All right, and oh, let's get over here too. Did I, or did I? No, I did not. All right, let's go ahead and raise this up just a bit. Oh, I need more, uh, need more oak leaves. Those I got plenty of. That one I can actually kind of splurge on these things, actually. Um, plenty to be had here. All right, and now uh, I think maybe add in the jungle leaves and call it a day, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, thicken this up just a little bit. Oh, yeah. It looks way more overgrown now. Might be able to fit like another tree in there, maybe, but two is fine. I think two is fine. How does this look on the mini-map now? Better? Much better. All right, a lot better. All right, you guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I did a lot of little detailing and stuff like that, things that I missed. I didn't actually get around to adding an exhibit, and that's okay, because there's more to a zoo than just the exhibits. There's bathrooms. There's, well, aquariums are kind of exhibits. There's food courts. That's a villager stuck in that cobble block back there. I really should actually move him someplace. Um, but I think I'm going to wrap this one up, so if you did enjoy, please go down and smash that like button. It helps me out a ton, and thank you guys all for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will see you guys next week. I hope your Friday is going well, too, by the way. If you're having a rough Friday, I am so sorry, and I hope it gets much better for you. And if you're having a good Friday, good. Keep going. Keep going. You got this. All right, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>